Huh. Sodium ion. Look below the video. I'll put a link to that. It fires this thing up like you wouldn't believe. Strange charging way, though. It charges strange. I'll show you that in the video. But it charges. It just don't get to that lead acid thing. But that might make it work better than that one did. Cut 10 pounds of weight, too. Look below that video. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I got really tired of that battery, and that's the third one, because this is a 2000, I think, 14 model. You can go back on my channel way back um, when I first got this generator. It's a dual fuel, and I've got it set up right now with propane, so I ain't ran this thing literally, and I'll put, it, I'll put a link to this since I installed this. This is so that I could drain the fuel out of the tank because we don't use this one as much as we used to because I have my welder generator. So I put a three-way on it. So you can go one way or the other way or in the center and it shuts off in the center. Here it was draining the gas out of the tank. So there's a video for that. I'll put a link to it right there. All right, now let's get over here where this is at. And if you want one of these batteries, I'm gonna put a link below the video to it. And they got numerous different versions. So you just kind of go search for what will fit for you. What was closest fit for me was this one here. This is the YTX9A. And if you're thinking like, um, oh, here we go with a sales campaign. Look at this picture right here, a sales campaign. I purchased this. All right, now, yeah, they gave me 20 off. What the hell, right? <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't the same as somebody that's uh, doing the open box subscribe subscribe buy it buy it crap i'm going to show you if it's good we're going to find out now this generator ain't ran since that video or maybe once once after that video a week or so after all right this thing here will not crank it anymore and I, this is this is number three i'm pretty sure of the 15 amp hour or 15 amp that um that it usually it, that it has okay this is a 250 cold cranking amp that one there is a 195 but this one is a 250 and it weighs two and like a quarter pounds this one weighs almost 12 pounds so even like loading this in and out of the truck that extra 10 pounds off of it is kind of helpful um so we're going to give it a shot um i've got the propane hooked up i haven't ran this and i have turned the valve on and you see this the older styles had the slide so you could make i'll show you here so you can make it where you can slide and there's the gas and then over here you turn it and then there's the propane okay so we haven't had a chance to run it um i just got the battery in it's warm out right now i just came back from getting this and got grabbed my phone to film it with we're gonna see will this little bitty thing fire up this sodium ion remember look at look at that sodium ion will this thing fire up my generator this is a 9000 watt generator it's got the um uh, 439 cc motor on it so i'm gonna have the boy here hold the the camera and i'm sure without a doubt we're gonna have to i'm sure we're going to choke this so all right here we go i'm gonna put the choke on now this this switch is trouble caused me trouble in the past so we're going to make sure i got a replacement for it i just ain't put it in yet so let's give it a shot Ooh. boy it hit hard though didn't it a lot of juice yeah, in that did. battery Okay, make sure I got that centered. That switch is a problem. So I'm going to try to block that noise. 
That is sodium ion. It's supposed to handle some extreme temperatures. So the problem I've got here is we get 100 and 110 degree days and that lead acid battery will just drain itself down. This, I'm hoping, will not do that. Like I said, problem with that switch. Now, this was charging. Yeah. And I can prove it. <laughs> that switch. So, the thing is, yeah, I really need to fix that. So the thing is, is that I was shown in other videos where this thing won't won't peak out above 13 volts. But it charged itself back immediately. And then immediately the BMS shuts off and it shows you that. Not positive if that's a problem or not. It absorbs immediately. So you're going to get a reading. They explained that to me of about 12 and a half to 13 volts only. And that's it. But you're going to get every ounce of that and it won't sag. And I'm going to try to show you that right now. Let's find out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the propane. Push the dumb switch. It's not working well. And I'm going to have the, uh, I'm going to put the multimeter on it and hit the button on it. Okay. So we're going to see how far it sags. Okay. Now. I get this thing wedged in here the best I can because I got to have one free finger for the free finger work. Okay. All right. So there's 1255 and, you, and you've seen it. It was charging strange as it is, but the sodium ion has a different behavior. So now watch. See how it came right back. Now I've got it just on crank cycle. That's it. Just cranking. There's no start. Now, you're going to see there, there's 1240, 1241. It's building itself right back up. Now, we're going to try it again. I'm going to try to see if it'll start and show charge. Hit the chum on this stupid thing. All right, so what you just saw is you saw this thing take a charge again. And it's got balls of steel. Starts this thing with no problem being as tiny as it is compared to this. But there was people complaining about, well, I don't think my system's charging. Your system's charging. It's that, that has a BMS in it, a battery maintenance system. This does not. So the current is shooting straight through the acid in this, it's not, it don't have acid in here. So this is almost the same as lithium ion, but it's lith is sodium ion. Okay. And the difference is, is how it absorbs the power from the charge. And we can go right back up here. So I got the gas off and just turn it and just crank on it. And 
and it's just got still got plenty of power to do everything with now my main hope wasn't that it you know we're, we're used to it being 13 13.5 14 volts because it has to push it and absorb it into that acid um almost plates this don't have to do that so it's bms basically shuts it off around 12.6 that's what it does but you get every ounce of that now if i hit that starter with this hitting 13 volts it immediately drops down 10.5 boom and it don't come up and recover any if i don't get it started in the first i don't know minute and a half that's a dead battery jump starter time this thing here might run for a good five minutes for cranking on it and that's what we were hoping for because some cold nights this thing here is a little tough to get started but it does run still and it runs good all right guys i got to repair work on that switch but otherwise sodium ion kind of cool make sure you look below the video and i'll put a link to my model the one i got boom right there and realize that you might think it's not charging it is all right you guys be good